Imagine the lobby before the screen. A lot of granite, a lot of glass, and a few elevators. A very sterile place. It was a pass-through to get to where you wanted to go. We had a 100-foot lobby screen, this amazing blank canvas. The question was, what do we do with it? It sort of came to us, wouldn't it be great to celebrate you know, some of California's natural beauty? We wanted to create an illusion as if you were actually there. I've heard about Obscura through osmosis. If I only had a job that I could work with them, and you know, this was the job. The initial briefing of the Salesforce wall, it was definitely like a kind of an exciting moment. They wanted us to capture kind of this, this natural beauty of California. One of the greatest places to go is like the Redwood Forest. The wall is so wide that a normal camera won't really get the whole thing well. So we used two cameras and synchronized them, and we ended up actually having to, to stitch scenes together to make a, the full panorama. We tried to match the scale of the surroundings and sort of make it the same perspective so that you are looking out into the distance and it uh, appears that there's no walls there. The, the idea being that it can be a window that you look out or sort of like a giant painting. Tim and I started brainstorming. What could we add to these like already beautiful, majestic giants? We wanted to create like these Easter eggs or these moments of magic that would happen occasionally. Sometimes little little lights, little pixie dust will, will come up, or little spheres will drop down out of the sky. What, what was that? Was that a, a UFO or something in the, in the scene? And you know, it's, it's kind of fun to have little surprises. We designed a lot of the content around day parts. We didn't want to have something too dynamic in the morning when people are walking in, so we shifted the more dynamic things, so say the waterfall, when people are walking out for lunch and things like that, and you have a lot of energy going. The water wall is very simple on its surface. It's basically just water coming down on the walls, but there are a few challenges. Essentially, this fluid simulation had to be created. We wanted it to be as realistic as possible, but not so realistic that it would create vertigo. So we had to kind of like skirt this sort of fine line between realism and kind of hyper-realism. It was cool on this project in that there was a lot of ability to experiment and a lot of people were open to trying surrealist art. Paperscapes was definitely an experiment. We had tried photographing paper with lights behind it, using the paper to sort of diffuse the light. Crumpled up paper was sort of looking like uh, caves or landscapes that are fantastical or, or dreamlike. So there's sort of different worlds. There's one for morning, there's one for the afternoon, and one for the evening time. I know these experiences are working when they suddenly go up and people are pulling out their camera phones and taking pictures. And just the scale of it, just the experience of it, it's something they haven't seen before. Mike, he had a lot of trust with us. I think that really opened up our minds on like how we approach things and like what we could present to him. And it, it gave us a certain freedom. This project was interesting because there was the ability to explore and to try out you know, different ideas. What Obscura is great at is creating for the human experience, to understand the emotions of people and what they're going to see. With something that's more artful, engaging, dynamic that people talk about. What we do next, I, I, I don't know, but that's sort of the fun of it. <laughs>